hoar frost much? Check that out, would you? Ain't that cool? I mean, cold, but also pretty cool. Yeah, gotta love it. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, it's been a wee while. It's been a bit busy, been a bit wet. We've uh, had a shit of a couple of weeks, really. But a lot of stuff's happened. We've got scanning done. Um, record scanning. I know, weird. 192% less triplets than we've had in the past, which is good. Handful more dries. Um, big thing is they're more twins, which must mean a move in the right direction. So this mob here, we've got the triplets, the lights, and the earlies. Thanks, neighbour. Not the end of the world. There's about 50 odd early turtles in there. They're a couple of weeks early, so a bit of extra management to worry about. We'll uh, get them out middle of August, late August, and we'll. Uh, Chuck them in a paddock with a bit of feed on it on their own. But there's a few more exciting things happened. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, she's back. She's up and running again, guys. Just as well, too, because I don't want to feed sheep nuts out with the bike. So I've got that one back. She's all good. Still needs a bloody universal joint, but uh, she's all good. Hopefully tonight the TM comes back. If not, it'll be tomorrow morning. Anyway, here's a few bits and pieces that have been happening over the last couple of weeks. I've uh, been taking a wee bit of footage, but like I said, it's just been a hard couple of weeks. I just, we took everything off Swedes, had them on grass. Um, it was just horrible. It wasn't horrendously wet, it was just sticky, shitty, depressing, grey. Yeah, south in July is pretty much what it was. Anyway, tell me what you think. Now... We haven't fed out any sheep nuts yet this year But I think these girls might remember what this big blue box does Yeah, I know, there's 25 kilos of sheep nuts in there We bought it a few years ago because we fed out 10 tonne the year after the drought It does the job quite nicely, but uh, we're going to do a wee bit of driving And we'll just, we'll just see whether they come running or not Looks a fair bit to me, look, a few of those girls might remember Which is good, because it means I don't have to worry about teaching the young ones with sheep nuts are, they'll do that for me. Anyway, this is what they are. Just pelleted grain and stuff. I don't actually know what else is in them. There's um, peas and wheat and barley and whatever else and put a few minerals in. I think there's a bit of mag oxide in there. So yeah, she just drops off the wee poles. Big drum under there. We hoagies hadn't quite worked it out yet. They're a bit scared of the bloody gate. Haven't been through one for a while, I suppose. Just let them stop and pile it up in the gateway here. Going to spend the night on this paddock and another wee one behind us. Once again, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I suggest these guys will be uh, getting another paddock of grass somewhere. Silly wee girls, they're in a hurry. Yeah, they, um, they're quite good at running around like crazy teenagers and making a mess of these things. It's kind of what they are. Um, so they hop and skip and jump around and bloody... Yeah, it makes mud. They have fun though, so a little bit more sensitive than the rest. Just got to be mindful of that. Turtles have seen their last Swedes for winter. There'll be a few singles in here after scanning, no doubt, that'll go back on, but the majority of them, all the twins and all the triplets, that's it. She's all over for them. Nice time on grass now. Go get up, uh, Pearl Slum. Go get up. So, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a wet week by the sound of it. Got old slum behind the ewes there, bringing them along, hunting them off today. There's um, a bit of a weather bomb coming this week apparently, and we're scanning on Saturday, so made the call. We're just going to pull them off today, it's Monday today, um, and we're just going to feed them grass until we scan. They um, got to come off feed on Friday morning. Bro, don't you do that. Um, yeah, you've got to come off feed on Friday morning. Hang on, I'll put Slim back out there. There we go, either way. Um, yeah, back out there Friday, uh, back off feed Friday morning. Um, so they're emptied out for the scanner on Saturday. And we'll just hope the weather next week is better. There's the twin two desk going under some decent covers. They should be pretty happy in there for a while. There's four breaks in there. They should have 16 days, hopefully. And here we've got the uh, Tooth Twins running onto a new break. 
They had five days down there and there's still plenty there and they're going into some some serious covers although I would say quality has been slightly compromised. You can see those dead dead spots that dead matter in there. Um yeah we're trying to look after them a wee bit. Sort of sort of a hard one if we feed them too much in late August it just makes the lambs go big inside them and that causes some serious issues. So we're feeding them as much as we can afford to now and I will sort of well they're, they're just about ad lib at the moment to be fair. Um, for three weeks, I suppose, and then we'll lock them down in the last few days of July um, and just not lock them down, but take them back to say 1.7 kgs of dry matter a day, which is roughly oh, I couldn't even tell you on grass on Swedes, it would mean roughly 17 kilos of sweet a day, which is a lot when you think about it. But yeah, that's um, whatever the someone will be able to tell me what the uh, dry matter percentage of this feed will be. Winter time, I'm guessing it'll be pretty low, but yeah, um, whatever it'll be, we work on, on dry matter anyway. So, check out that pure bloody sex appeal, would you? Isn't that just the best looking thing ever made? Yeah, so we finally got that TM back. Um, that will be a game changer for the season. It's been hell without it. You have no idea how hard my life has been without it. I oh, know it's a, a real first world problem, that isn't it? Um, we can now get some fencing done, we can uh, get some culverts put in, we can just carry on with some normal stuff and we can actually feed out normally, properly, easily, without a whole lot of hassle. Um, yeah, it'll be nice, provided it stays together because this is the third attempt in eight months. Fingers crossed, yeah. Um, anyway, we've just got these triplets and lights here, triplets, lights and earlies. So they've had three days on that side, this one's a bit bigger, they should get four days over here. As you can see, there's a bit of feeding here. Um, still getting sheep nuts every day, sort of holding off on uh, upping them a wee bit. They're not all eating them yet. So we'll keep them on 100 grams a day for a wee while until I reckon a few more of them are actually actually hoeing into them. Because uh, I don't want to go killing these poor girls because if they get too much grain, yeah, it can be a bit untidy. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the cruiser, for her sake, please do, do like and subscribe. And there'll be plenty more footage of the team coming up.